yeah, 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 YouTube. Guess what? Gonna true up this wheel. Got the red drink. Now, this is where the tri-flow comes in. Get the nice 14 gauge spoke wrench, park tool. Some real electrical tape. I taped the two little straighteners here so it didn't scrape this awesome sun rim, this Envy sun rim. Uh, this is the Profile Z Coaster. I bought the rim, I bought the spokes, I bought the hub. Paid. Uh, so this is a trimming stand and as you can see as you spin it it's almost true but what I did is I first took all the spokes just with a screwdriver and my fingers and took all the nipples to the ends of the threads all the way around all the way around so each nipple stops at the threads now I think a great trick and it's always reliable is no matter what you do start at the valve hole Make sure the logo on the hub, you can see through the valve hole, and I can, but you want to start through the valve hole. So I'm going to go around and put triflow on all 36 spokes. Now you can always wipe the rim down afterward, but this is important because the spokes will get tight. The oil of the tri-flow, you know, just helps the tension, the twisting, the threads. Some people do it afterward, but I just kept it a really clean environment until now. Big shout out to Matt over at Profile, Ryan and Frank at Dance Comp. So I did all 36. Now I'm going to go around and put it at the end of the nipple in the rim band by the eyelet. Just so it's slick. I want it easy. Now I've seen McKinney take a can of aerosol tri-flow and just spray paint the entire rim. Just go crazy with it. Soak it. And he just, you want it to turn anyway, you might as well soak it. But uh, we're going the cleaner approach. It's almost there. Like I said, go from valve hole to valve hole and you can't lose. So that's all done. That's your tri-flow. Should I? Maybe I will. So I'm going to go from the valve hole again. But I'm going to put a drop at the top of each nipple. Why? To get that full lubed penetration. I know. I know I said lubed full penetration and that's kind of what it is. And the good thing is you don't have to stop. You just keep going monotonously. Not. It's anthrax. Because uh, once you get to this valve hole you always stop, so you just keep going. Now, I'm gonna try 
flow there. I'm gonna grab the spoke wrench. I'm gonna grab that red drag. I see a little Wayne going in on Birdman with that Prince guy. That's awesome. Get that album out. I say go to Carter Six. Forget five, but you know, I ain't dropping albums. Not the lack of trying. I just ain't dropping them. Um, so now, normally, you just go around a whole full, full turn, take the spoke wrench, and do a full 360 on each nipple. It'll get tighter. Then you're going to do a whole full turn again. Then a whole full turn again until it gets pretty tight. So I'll just begin. So it's easy how, how it looks, just full turn. Full turn. Some people do this lightning fast. Some people take their time, but key is each spoke tensioned equally. There's actually a, a spoke tensioner that, I mean, you could really go through in almost like a torque wrench, set how tight you want your spokes, and that gauge would tell you you just go around and around and then go home. Oh, each of them are at 3.14, you know, pi. Then you would just go around and tighten each one, but you wanna do it in a pattern, because if you don't, you'll bend that rim. It'll take you a while to figure out how to undo that. Now I'm starting out with all brand news. What's good about all that tri-flow too is as I'm going around, it's still working. Gravity is your friend. That red drink is your friend. The sun rim is your friend. The spoke wrench, definitely your friend. This profile's e coaster, one thousand percent is your friend. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about this hub, which I'm sure Matt will appreciate. But oh, there's Fano texting me right now. Fano, Fano. I'm supposed to get them stranger rooms from him, but man, that extra weight. I would still get those rims. I would still get those rims, especially if I rode some hardcore street, but I don't. So I just kind of went with the, the lighter, stronger rims made by Sun. Now, if you see me make any mistakes or anything, you can comment below. You can tell me I said something wrong or did something wrong. I actually enjoy it. It's not gonna bring me down. Okay, so there was one full turn. Now you'll see people go around and do this to spoke, it's just it's just getting them in place and getting them ready and you're starting to see how tight it is already. But you can see it's I mean it's pretty straight. Everything's brand new, it shouldn't be out of whack. But I've, I've done some rims that uh, aren't. So, what I think is amazing about this hub, and I'm not sponsored by Profile. I don't get nothing free from Profile. This is just my opinion. But I am a designer, and I have invented some bike products. And I actually think this hub is more of an instrument. And I will explain to you what I mean by that. 
So the more I mess with it, in amazement. Hang on, Fano. Uh, the more I start to understand that it's just not a free coaster or a free hub, if that's how you want to phrase it. Not that it's free in that cost. It means free that the wheel will spin both ways. And when you're rolling backwards, your pedals won't roll backward. But this is like a three-in-one hub. It's a... Uh, it can go to free hub, which is a free coaster, but free coaster is like coaster brake, and there's no coaster brake innards whatsoever. So I would explain it as free hub because it's just free wheeling, wheeling West Virginia. Now it can also be a, like just a normal cassette. Like free, it clicks like a cassette. You can pump the pedals like a cassette. It's when you roll the pedals back a little further, it's when the hub disengages. You can do all your back wheel tricks, but then when you stomp on that pedal, you're going forward again. The only thing this hub doesn't have is a reverse. Now Chuck Johnson, Tricky Styler, he made that hub in. Man, once reverse gets in the game, because he's the only one using it, it is going to get crazy. I made one, but to produce that, it just costs a lot of money. Now, if someone wants to start a GoFundMe account <clears throat> for me to make those hubs, hey, no problem. Comment below. I'll, I'll do a GoFundMe and make that hub for everybody. No problem. You'd be pedaling backward. It'd be Rick Montana with like a quarter of the skill that he got. Whew. Rick's a bad dude on a bike. He'll never be better than Rick. Never. That will never happen. So that was two full turns, all 36 folks. Red drink, red rim, red rim. Now, my pinchies. I mean, they're getting tighter. It's like a, a BMX harp. Still straight. This house. company's 20 years old now. I've been making parts for everyone for 20 years now. Make some new stuff here shortly. Okay, now I'm going to go for the third full rotation. Because it's starting to get tighter. The tighter, the better. German guten type. Now, here's the thing. You can run this wheel after it's all trued up. Try it a few times. You can go through and tighten all the spokes again. So that'll be the second time. You can ride it a little bit longer. And then you're going to turn it up a third time. Pretty much after the third time, roll a thumb, and it's rock solid. You'll never treat that wheel again. So that's really what we're trying to get at. I one spoke back there. I might have only did a half turn, but I'll figure that out. And I mean, you've done it so much that you'll start to notice, like, Hey, that spoke ain't tight enough. Or it's 
really easy to turn that spoke wrench. But I'm not doing anything special. I'm just making sure all turns are even. And all the spokes are tensioned evenly. And really just getting it done. Look at the park tool on the spoke wrench once, and make it disappear, and that's a full turn. But sometimes it starts before you see the park tool, so you gotta pay attention to that. And you gotta pay attention where that bow hole is. That's, uh, that's your start and stop point. Once you get going, don't you ever stop because there ain't no way you're going to remember the place unless you have like a, a clip or a piece of tape or something to put on the spoke so you can start again. And even that's confusing. <clears throat> Did I tighten that spoke last or am I supposed to tighten that spoke now? So it's just best to, to go all the way around. That happens. Make sure you put that spoke wrench on the same way. Sets three full turns around each spoke from the spoke nipple being tightened to the bottom of the threads. And then I go around stress relieve. <clears throat> See the non drive side's already getting a little bit tighter. Yeah, these spokes are two different lengths, so to keep this full center, I might have to go around and do an extra half turn because this flange is a little bit different size than this flange. flat there. Hmm. The rim it does need to come over a little bit this way. So like I said th this is a, a 184 millimeter spoke. This is a 182 millimeter spoke, different flanges. So I'm going to go on the larger flange side from the valve hole and only the spokes on this side. I'm just going to do a half turn. I'm just going to do a half turn, hopefully. Kind of. So it's just 180. Half cab. Half cab. Half cab. This is only to even out the tension. Take a little bit of concentration. <clears throat> yeah, it pulls.
folds it over. So I can still see just a little bit of slop. I think I could almost do another half turn on this side to even that out. I think I'm gonna, because I can always make it up on the other side. This wheel isn't true yet, you know. And it's still pliable. You don't want it to be rock solid and then start messing with this. So we do another half cab. Really, in the end, it's like a full turn, but you gotta take your time and be patient so your wheel is awesome. Stainless spokes, no rust, no joke. I was gonna go titanium, but. <clears throat> I changed my mind on that. Just from I just don't want them to flex or anything. I'm six two. And having a tight wheel is important. Side. This side's tight. This side's still loose. This side's tight. I'm gonna. You know why? Because I can get myself out of the jam. <laughs> so there's another. Half turn. Which is really equal one. A full turn and a half, but you really want to keep everything even. That's why you just don't rip through and do a full turn and a half. That would be such a big mistake. It's only going to be tight on one side. one side of the circle and oh man it's really gonna give you a headache later I'm not doing anything magical there we go that's about right yep that's man perfect tension on each side it's still loose but you know it's getting there So now I'm going to do the whole entire spoke system again. Maybe, maybe it's half turn time because as you're tightening one side, the other side is getting tight. So it's kind of pulling it in, you know, if you did a whole full turn, it could create a little wobble, not really a flat spot, but want to be patient you don't want to just rip through this I'm the man I did it in 10 minutes uh, you want to you want to take your time so I'm just gonna have to turn them all oh, yeah that's that's getting plenty tight and you'll feel it not going to be like, is it tighter? Mom, are my spokes getting tighter? No, you're going to know it. You're going to say, oh, 
that's that's where it's getting tensioned. Now you don't want to put a cheater bar on the spoke wrench. You just want to do subtle half turns. And keep it going. Fano builds wheels. Ask Fano. Hashtag Fano. Hashtag stay woke. Hashtag Emer. Hashtag BMX. This is my whole entire life. Been riding since three. I better know how to build a wheel. Took me long enough to figure it out. Thirty six spokes is a lot easier than. 48 wheels we used to ride. I am glad that those spokes are gone. A lot of spokes. You might have to treat your wheels a little bit more, but the weight that's gone is great. I ain't saying it's bad. I'm just saying I can actually get in here and true this spoke then like this 48 so tough see this this spoke they're tightening up they are getting tight getting tight getting right you'll even hear some settling some creaking I'm always gonna start it off. Hold let's, let's loosen that up. Let's loosen that up. Yeah, just from feeling that. Man, let me get some of that rare track. They're seated in the rim band real nice. I always use that, uh, that uh, rim tape, the Velux, but it's almost like white cloth. Only use that stuff. Don't use electrical tape or duct tape or anything. I had some. Okay. We keep rocking. But the up and down, it's on the money. This rim is so good. How these sides are and the, the height of the rim and everything it's just it's just good and no spoke should be sticking out of the back of the nipple whatsoever I've got plenty of space plenty of space back here I think I'm gonna go all the way around again. I'm gonna half turn. And that might be it. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go check what's loose. I might have to do a half turn on the opposite side. It's only 36 spokes. Not many. But this hub boy, you're missing out if you don't have this. You know, if you want the hub, it's pricey, but it's American made. It's quality, 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 
That's funny. Uh, quality machining. <clears throat> go out and cut some grass. Go wash some cars. Go do whatever. Sell some of your old bike parts at the skate park. Sell an old bike. Sell your sister's bike. Sell some of your video games. Just make some money and, and buy the hub and thank yourself. I mean, the amount of money they spent to make this hub, especially if you get all the titanium upgrades and everything, man, you get what you pay for. You want to buy some hub from Taiwan that isn't heat treated. And then you're going to shred that thing from doing some 180s. You're going to be really upset, but I'm pretty sure this thing is going to take a beating. And keep going. This hub might actually outlast you. Good thing is, hey man, this company's in Florida. You're going to be able to get parts for the hub. You know, just like a car industry. Something that's bad in the car, you just replace the part. So, call a profile. Tell them I sent you. Even though I don't ride for them. They'll give you some parts. You saw how spongy they were earlier, you know. That means it's true time, dog. It's true time. True. Now, what I got here is equal tension spokes. I got a little, little side to side, which is good news because that means I'm right in the center. So I'm hitting on this side a little bit, and then I'm hitting on this side a little bit. So, dude, I'm talking under a sixteenth of an inch. So now it's the trim part. So if I want this side to go over there, I tighten this side. But when the, if the rim is hidden over here, I tighten these spokes. eBay player, you heard the cash register now. Here's the thing. Which you gotta understand when you add tension, you gotta take away tension. So if you tighten a spoke on this side, you have to loosen the spoke on this side, or you'll just end up bottoming out and creating a flat spot. That was the hardest thing for me to get inside my head. So if I tighten this side, this one, I need to loosen this one and this one just a little bit because I loosen this spoke and then it gets tighter over here and it brings it to where it's a center, to where this wheel is a harp. Understand it's a harp. It's a harp. Just get that in your head. If you tighten, you must loosen. If you tighten, you must loosen. Almost karate kiddish. You know, wax on, wax off. Tighten, loosen, loosen, tighten.
Perfect. That could be your new Instagram name, <clears throat> Titan Loosen, which is a great name, Titan Loosen. I might adopt some kids and name them that. Go Titan Loosen. What's up, man? Titan Loosen. What's up? So, let's get to Titan and Loosen. You know he's a player in the game. What's up, Titan? What's up, Lucen? So. That's, that's half the wheel right there. So I'm going to go from. I'm going to do half a turn. On the left side till I get to that valve hole. Now, if you come to San Diego and you ask me to treat your wheels, am I going to do it? No. You can pay me to do it. Okay, so my boy's tight and loose and help me out here. So it's doing good. But right here. Just gonna do a quarter turn quarter turn, not a not a half, just a quarter. I'm doing this right in front of you. You know, no one's here telling me. No there's no earpiece. You know, Fano ain't standing here. It's just me, red rim, red drink, what you think? See, this is where the, the tension in with your fingers, like your stress relief on the spoke, getting it centered. True test of a wheel builder here, wheel juggernaut. So you can see it's it's settling in. Can't hear nothing. And that driver ain't moving. Look at that. Driver stands still. Driver stand still, no ratchet. <sighs> There's no noise. So that whole distance, your boy's tight and loose, and I'm gonna do that again on this side. From here all the way to the valve hole. Just a quarter turn. Which means I really did a half a turn. But it's gotta be consistent, it's gotta be even pressure. Now you're asking me, how come you ain't loosening on the other side? Because it ain't there yet.
into that little creek. That's when it's getting perfect. Shout outs to Evan and Chris for taught me how to build wheels. Lakeside! Such a tough one. Oh, the spokes are tension so nice. Oh, you hear that little creak? It's a good sign. I want to say this wheel's done. I can maybe nitpick that, but I actually think that's just the sticker hitting the tape. This rim is so flat. Like I'm looking at the light in between there and there, and it's just it's just perfect, perfect. Once again, I want to thank Dan's comp, the spokes and rims, Frank and Dan, you, Team Honda, and uh, definitely want to thank Matt over at Profile for uh, getting the hub of my dreams. Some people go after the girl of their dreams. I went after the bike parts of my dreams. And uh, this is a, a dynamite wheel that I've been waiting for. Hopefully I'm going to get to try out some back tricks of it, back wheel tricks I've been thinking about but got the red rim tri flowed got the turquoise Z coaster Whew, it's awesome thank you YouTube like this subscribe just click right there subscribe I had to film this tall way so there'll be some black space right here just so you can see it. Um, so if you don't have a training stand, I can tell you how to make one. Real simple. Get an old bike fork with a front brake. Doesn't matter if it's a side pull brake or 990 mounts. But attach the a brake lever somewhere. It could be close, whatever. And you can use the tension barrel of the brake lever on the fork. So you can take the steer tube, put it through a piece of wood, get yourself stable, you know, tighten down the nuts, then make sure that brake is center, attach the cable, and as you, just like I was tightening this, you just tighten your tension barrel, brings the brake pads in, and you'll have a nice churning stand so you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money. Old fork, even if you broke the fork, you could still cut the sear tube off and then put that on a piece of wood, nut and bolt that down so it's just thin there because you know there's no tire and don't try to treat your room with a tire and a tube on there it rubs everything and you want to see all this stuff and make sure there's no damage and it's clean but uh get involved you know get into the art of building these wheels it's uh it's fun once you know how to do it and uh start charging your friends to fix their rims and doing too, too many 180s and uh thank you I'm Sean White at Biz House. You can follow me at Sean White BMX on anything. Thank you. Ooh.